Hey everybody, uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about Olive and uh, what we're going through. Um, you know, the last video I posted, that was recorded more than a week ago. And uh, in the meantime, I've rejoined some friends. I went to the, uh, the desert cleanup for a couple of days. And um, now I'm here with Terry and Scott and uh, Dana and the family and a few other friends and uh, possibly a couple other friends to join us too, which is exciting. Uh, but when I posted that video, I knew that people would have, you know, opinions on the matter. And I knew there'd be a lot of advice. I knew that it would upset a few people. And um, I accept all that, you know. If uh, if you are you were upset by it, I'm sorry about that, but I was just being truthful. And I want you to know that, um, you know, whatever decision I make, I'm not going to rush into anything. And I'm not that type of person, you know. It took me over a year to finally um, decide to get Olive. So, you know, and the entire time I was uh, thinking about it and searching and waiting for what I thought was the right time for me. And I'm going to do everything I can uh, within uh, reason to make this work. And I have been doing that. You know, I, I know people, people assume that they know everything that's going on by you know, six minute videos that I put out once a week, you know. <laughs> um, you don't, and I don't share everything with you. You know, uh, people are people are saying things like, why don't you play with her? Why don't you throw a ball to her? Why, you know, like, come on. <laughs> um, she's not my first dog. Uh, I am an animal lover. I've had dogs in the past. I, I know what to do. Um, we we do we are bonded we we have fun together she's very playful and you know we play every single day um yeah so don't think that i have her locked up in my van all day long and i'm just not enjoying it, it you know it's just it, that's silly <laughs> and it's not true um but what i do want you to know is that i have a dog crate for her um we've been working on we're like in the introduction phase still uh at first she was terrified of it um and now uh she's she's not scared of it anymore but she's just you know not very interested unless um unless i'm using some incentives which that's what i'm doing and that's the other thing is i read a lot online about um how to train dogs and uh, how to work you know through certain situations i watch tons of youtube videos and i talk to people who know a lot about dogs and dog training and dog behavior um and yeah one of those people is kelly doyle she she's helped me a lot through this process and uh and i have other people in my life too that know a lot about dogs and they've helped me also so <laughs> Just know that uh, I do educate myself, I do take advice, um, and I'm not going to rush into anything. So why I said um, that it was a possibility that she would have to go and live somewhere else is that I feel like once I've exhausted you know, all of what I can do for her and she's still unhappy, then I think it's the right thing to do to find her someplace where she would be happier. And I know it takes time. She's a rescue. Um, it has been two months, and I know that's not a long time. But you have to remember that the the conditions that we live in, the circumstances, my lifestyle, it's different than having a dog in a house. It just is. Um, everything's kind of accelerated. She meets tons of people every day. She meets tons of dogs every day. Um, we're traveling a good part of most days. So everything's kind of in fast forward. When I made that video, I was in LA and we had been at my friend's house for a few days. Um, she had spent a couple, uh, few days with my friends. 
uh, and then we had spent a couple of days alone in the house. And what really spurred me to make that video, even though all of this has been in my head, um, is seeing how happy she was there. And, uh, and then seeing how unhappy she is in my van. I, I mean, she's not completely unhappy, but there's always a, le a level of stress for her. And, uh, and, and I, I pay close attention to how she acts and her behavior. And she's, she's much happier being in a house. There's no two ways about it. Even after we've been in the van a few days and she, she sort of calms down a bit because she's starting to get used to it again. She's not as happy as she is when, when she's at a place like that. And that's what makes me think that maybe that's a better decision. Um, and I truly feel like it would be selfish of me to to try to push this on her when there's other options and those options are better for her. Um, I would never give her up to a pound. I, would, I wouldn't turn her back in to the rescue agency unless it was, you know, some very special circumstances. I, there's, there's a bunch of people who want her and I would never give her up to anybody who wouldn't love her and wouldn't give her a fantastic life and wouldn't give her a better life than me. If there was, if there were no other options and the only option was to give her to a pound or something, I wouldn't do it. I would keep her here. And I understand that this situation is better than what she had before. But, uh, I truly think in my heart, this isn't the best situation for her. And I know some of you think that I'm overreacting. Um, when I tell you that she's shaking, it's not like a, a little tremble. Um, she's not a shaky dog. She's not like um, a lot of small dogs or chihuahuas who shake, you know, a good part of the day. She's not that dog. She doesn't even shake when it's cold outside. Um, and when the van is moving, instantly she's shaking so much that sometimes it seems like she's you know having like a fit like a like a seizure almost and it, with her tongue hanging out and it's you know it's freaky it really is and it can't be good for her another thing that's freaking me out and i know that there isn't you know definite scientific proof of this but when I got her, she was completely black, jet black. She has now got thousands of white hairs all over her body within two months' time. And the only thing that, you know, that I can think that contributes to this is stress. Um, there is some proof, I think, now that premature uh, graying or wh whitening of hair in dogs is stress-related, or can be just like it can be in humans. So, it, you know, it's, it's another thing that, yeah, uh, it's hard to show you on camera. Um, let me show you a little bit. It's not gonna come across quite as it does, you know, in person. So there's definitely some on her face, on her muzzle. But that's not where most of it is. There's some on top of her head. Um, it's all over her body. It's on her belly. You know, I mean, I'm gonna take her harness off. She has a very distinctive white stripe up her chest now that was not there when I got her. And, and even her paws are now turning white. Um, I know you can't, you can't really see it on camera, but, um, yeah, there are hundreds of white hairs on her now. Um, I, I know that it'll be difficult for her and for me. 
but she, you know, if she ends up going to my friends in LA, um, she's already familiar with them. She spent time in their home. She loves their home. Um, they're animal lovers. And, uh, I would be able to, you know, be there for them. However, they need to support my support in the transition. Um, I would be, uh, you know, their, their ho their pet sitter for a while, at least, you know, I would stay in the area. Obviously, uh, it's not going to be completely easy for her, um, you know, if, when and if I leave her. Um, but like somebody said in a comment, which, you know, I think is true, is that, um, you know, dogs go through foster care and, uh, and they wait until they can find a great forever home for them. And, uh, you know, I, I've done the best I can for her while she's been with me and I, I will still continue to try to do the best for her. Um, but if she ends up having to leave me and, uh, she found, finds a great home, you know, it's better than, um, leaving her in that, at that, uh, rescue place in the middle of the desert where she could still be, you know, sitting there waiting for somebody to come. So if nothing else comes of this, you know, it's that sh she's found another great home, you know, it's. It will it will end up good for Olive, however it ends up, it'll be good for her, and I and I promise to um, make sure that that's how it is. So you know, you don't have to agree with me, um, but it's it's my decision is what it comes down to, and I I will do. After lots of soul searching and lots of thinking and um, and research and trying everything I can, I'm gonna make the decision that I think is best for Olive. And of course, what's best for me plays into that also. And yeah, you know, it's it's not what I want, and it's but yeah. At the end of the day, I'm gonna do what's best for her. So. So I want to say thank you to everyone who's shown support and love for us and uh, who are praying for us and wishing the best. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hope everyone has a happy new year and I'll keep you all updated. And um, yeah, I'll see you down the road.